Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lima Senior High School for tonight, the Lima Cup, as Lima Senior hosts the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds. Good evening, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Nate Garlock and our entire WSN crew. And Nate, this is this is Michigan, Ohio State. This is Army Navy. This is as big a rivalry as there is in the area. These two clubs have been playing for a long time, and everybody in Lima comes out. Yeah, this is one of the greatest rivalries that you could ever see or be a <laughs> right. part of. There have been some games that have tremendous, they, I mean, it, records don't matter, but there have been games when they've both been down and they've been great games, and then we've seen them when they've both been at the top of the state and they've been amazing games. Year in and year out, this is one of my favorite games of the year, and I'm glad we can be here calling it. Yeah, and you look at the number of great players, not just college players, NFL players, NBA players. It's just amazing the talent that comes through here. Let's take a look. Our pre-games tonight, our pre game is presented by Lout Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Lout Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. Let's take a look first, the visitors from Lima Central Catholic, if you can call them visitors here in Lima. <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, big thing for them is they got to take care of the basketball. You're going to see a lot of pressure up and down. Lima Senior likes to get after it. They're going to run full court press. They've got to be able to find somebody that can take care of the basketball, bring it up and down the floor, and weather that storm as Lima Senior is going to run 7, 8, 9, 10 off the bench at you and keep those fresh legs coming. And then they have to rebound. Talk to Coach Kill, and they think that a big part of this is making sure that they're limiting Lima Senior to one-and-done opportunities. They've got to be strong down low and in the paint, getting defensive rebounds, and making sure that they're avoiding offensive rebounds on the other side. And take a look at the Spartans, Nate. They've won three of four. They got a big win over Ottawa Glandorf last week. They go down to the fly into the Hoop Classic yesterday, get a big win over Springboro. They've got a really busy schedule the next 10 days. Talk about the keys for them to win this game tonight. You know, I think the biggest key for Lima Senior is they have to ride this wave of momentum. Friday night, they had a tough loss here at home against Finley. Finley came in, and that was a game that Lima Senior thought that they could win, and Finley really kind of dominated from beginning to end. They had a really bad shooting night. They were off, and the offense over the last two, three weeks has been spotty. They've, they've won some games, but they've also had a low of 32 points and a loss. That's just not something you see from them. But now, after that huge win against Ottawa Glandorf on Saturday night, where I think a lot of people thought OG would come in here and just handle the Spartans, Lima Senior turned them back. Then they bounced back on Monday night, uh, went a big win against Springboro, and then now here you come in and you have this rivalry. So they have this big momentum swing that is on their side. They got to ride that wave and hopefully get out to a good start tonight so they can put LCC on their heels. It's Lima Central Catholic. It's Lima Senior. It's the rivalry we all wait for all year long. We'll have the tip off right here on WSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School for the Lima Cup as Lima Senior takes on Lima Central Catholic. Danny Holbrook, Nate Garlic here from Lima Senior High School. And Nate, you look at this rivalry right now, and both teams come in. Lima Senior comes in at 7-4, and four, LCC at 5-6. and six. Not stellar records as in past years, but still the rivalry is just as intense as it's ever been. Yeah, you know, whether they were undefeated coming into this game or hadn't won a game, the same, the same intensity is going to come in no matter what. So records really don't matter. It's one of those games where it, it just it doesn't seem to matter. They don't care. They rise to the occasion, and you always have a good matchup with these two on the floor. Well, Coach Simpson has implored the fans to come out. We've seen in the, in the media the last couple weeks, he's implored the folks to come out. And I'll tell you what, it's a Tuesday night, and the gym's pretty full. Yeah, we had a great crowd. You know, this is one of those games that kind of draws itself. You don't, have, you don't have to try to twist too many arms to come check this one out. And, you know, it, again, it, it's, a, it's a tremendous rivalry. Um, both these teams, these kids know each other so well. Um, you know, they play together, you know, especially with the rise of AAU over the last couple of years. A lot of these guys play on the same team in the summer. Sure. They're, they're friends, they know each other. Um, the coaches have a lot of respect for each other, and it just makes this game that much better. Let's take a look at the starting lineups tonight for the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds. They come in at 5 and 6. They're coached by head coach Frank Kill. They'll start number 10, a 6'2 junior, Carson Parker. Number 12, a 6' foot sophomore, Matthew Quatman. Number 14, a 5'10 freshman, Willie Foster. Number 20, a 6'0 junior, Parker Judy. And number 34, a 6'4 junior, Billy Bork. LCC comes in averaging 59 a game and defensively they give up 60 a game. For the Lima Senior Spartans, they'll come in at 7 and 4, 3 and 4 on the track. They'll start number 0, Anthony Mosley, a 6'4 senior at 11.5 a game. Number 1, Brandon Moore is a 6'3 senior. He averages 11.1 a game. Number two, Jaquel Cotton is a 6'5 sophomore at 10.2 a game. 
Number 11, Amari Addy, a 5'2 fresh, or excuse me, a 5'11 freshman, comes in averaging five and a half points a game. And number 23, Jagger Hutchins, a 6'7 sophomore. He comes in averaging six a game. Lima Senior, like I said, is six and or seven and four. They're coached by Quincy Simpson. So here we go, partner, big crowd, big rivalry. A good Tuesday night in Lima Land. Yeah, I, I can't wait. The beginning <laughs> of this is going to be, I think, is really going to set the tone. Both these teams, you know they want to get off to a good start. They love to put the other team on their heels as quick as they can. You know, I'll, and both of these teams, it's, it's rare, especially two teams that have had the sustained success that both of these have had, but they have starting guards uh, that are freshmen on both sides of the floor. So how do those freshmen, how do these young players step into these roles in a big game like this where they've been in the stands watching? I can't wait to see it. And LCC will control the tip. This is Foster, the young freshman point guard, as we talked about earlier. They'll move the ball from left to right, get it over to Bork at the top of the key, back over to Foster. And I think it, LCC knows that they don't want to get into a track meet as you see the first shot go up. Yeah, Foster with the missed shot on the right side. Here come the Spartans. This is Brandon Moore. Gets it into Mosley. Mosley takes it up, and he scores. Lima Senior takes the quick 2-0 lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Our scoreboard is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe. Chicken and Wapak, Delphus and Lima. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. There's your first turnover of the game. Here comes Moore. Takes it up, misses the shot. Rebound comes down to senior high. Jacal Cotton with a putback, and the Spartans are up 4 nothing. And this is what LCC can't afford to do. I was a little surprised in that first offensive possession to see such a quick shot go up. I would think that they'd like to see a little bit longer sustained offensive sets. Try to milk this clock. Not want to get into a track meet with this Lima Senior team. You know Lima Senior wants to run. You right. know they have speed. They This is what they love to do. And LCC cannot let them dictate this pace. Well, you got a big student section, and that student section is getting really excited right now. They get that home crowd behind them. This place can get really rowdy. So you don't want to turn the ball over a lot. This is Foster again. Takes it inside to Bork. Bork with a little turnaround. Takes it off the glass iron. Rebound comes down to the Spartans and Jaquel Cotton. Those are the ones that you can't afford to miss. Nice run on the floor by Anthony Mosley as he gets the deuce and he gives the senior high Spartans the 6-0 lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. LCC right now not, just not getting back quick enough on defense. Lima Senior doing a great job of getting back, finding the openings down low. Three ball on the way. Parker Judy, the junior sharpshooter, knocks down the three and he cuts it in half to 6-3. And it's amazing what one shot will do. Right. Right? You look up and you see 6-0. Six 6-3 six doesn't look nearly as bad. We both thought the same thing, partner. <laughs> Senior eye is going to slow it down just a little bit. Brandon Moore it goes to the middle from the foul line. And a hammer time by Anthony Mosley. I thought he missed the shot and it was a set play. The alley-oop to Mosley and he knocks it in to make it 8-3 on the board. I'm not sure how you would lose Anthony Mosley <laughs> running baseline, but LCC that time just got caught ball watching. Mosley doing a great job without the ball. Well, These teams, they played together for so long, you know, Moore knew exactly what he was going to do. And there's a nice dribble drive by the young <coughs> Willie Foster, the young freshman. And that's going to be huge tonight if Foster can penetrate and get to the line and get some buckets when the clock is stopped. Yeah, you know, I think, and, you know, Lima Senior, one of the things that they have struggled with this year are fouls. We've seen a lot of games where they've gotten into foul trouble. They've had to have some guys take a seat. Now what's been beneficial is they go so deep on that bench that they've been able to weather those storms but some early foul trouble, you know, getting uh, to the line. But as you see, Foster not able to connect on that first one. But that will be critical here, especially in this early going. A second one on the way, and it's good. Cuts the lead in half to 8-4 to four on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Our free throws tonight are sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years. We'll offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Webb Insurance is our free throw sponsor. Senior high will move the ball around. This is Brandon Moore. Pushes it down to Anthony Mosley. And you, you really see how athletic Anthony Mosley is when he runs the floor. And we've seen a couple buckets by him already tonight. Yeah, it was a great job by Carson Parker, though, down low. He is a big, strong kid. You know, obviously a lot of people are used to seeing what he can do on the gridiron, but he is a force here on the basketball court as well. Yeah, you look at that young man. He's got tree trunks for legs. He spends a lot of time in the weight room. Nice reverse scope there by Brandon Moore, and he knocks in the deuce to make a 10-4. Brandon Moore averages 11.1 a game. He's got two on the night. Stoppage in play. Didn't see what happened there. Did you see? Uh, I think Lima Senior thought that a timeout was coming. That's what I thought was coming, yeah. And it must just have been an inadvertent whistle. So This is Foster. 
He's guarded by the other freshman, Amari Addy for senior high. Nice job by Billy Bork to split the middle, and he knocks in the deuce to make a 10-6 with five minutes to go in the lead. Stretch me scoreboard. And just a nice pick and roll that time. Burke did a great job getting set and rolling to the basket. And even better job by his teammate to find him down low. This is Moore, kicks it out. This is Cotton. Cotton with a three ball on the way, and it's good. Jaquel Cotton, they're calling it a two, but Jaquel Cotton with a silky smooth jumper to make a 12-6 on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. Jaquel Cotton had a huge game Saturday against Ottawa Glandorf in what a lot of people would say would be an upset. He had 16 points on the night and really carried this team. Nice move there by Parker Judy. The junior muscles his way in to get the bucket. It makes it 12-8. LCC hanging tough in the first half. Yeah, they're coming down and answering buckets, and they, they're not holding the basketball. They're getting down there quickly and just taking what Lima Senior is giving them so far, been able to cash in. Amari Addy tried to push the ball in the middle. Here come the birds on the breakaway. Scoop and score by, oh, no, it goes off the rim. Foster tried to go up the left hand, misses the shot. Senior high gets the rebound. There's Cotton again from long range, off the mark. Rebound comes down to the birds. They'll go in transition. Here comes Carson Parker, gets it inside. Ball almost goes out of bounds. Pick back up. Off the mark, rebound by Carson Parker, and the birds will reset. So impressive sequence that time. It saw Mariatti get down and knock that one away, but LCC able to maintain possession. And had a couple opportunities, now on their fourth try, so LCC doing a nice job of crashing the offensive boards. There's a nice cut by Foster in the middle of the floor. He misses the shot, rebound comes down. Carson Parker had the rebound and went off his feet. Now we're going to get a held ball there. Fighting for those 50-50 balls. Everybody want every extra possession that they can get. As you can see Lima Senior about to make some whole house changes here. Three substitutions coming into the game. A lot of changes for senior high. And this is what they do, though. This is why they're able to play at the tempo that they do throughout the entire game. They're just constantly rotating in fresh legs, and there's not much drop-off when they do that. Marion Glenn checks in. Also, <clears throat> looks like number 15, Javion Walton. So senior high with some wholesale changes there. Nice dribble drive on the right side. Ball comes back down to senior high. Three ball on the way from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Moore. He's going to reset with another three from the left side. Rims in and out. Moore gets his own rebound. Takes it inside. Ball's swatted down. Here come the birds up the left side in transition. They'll kick it back out. Carson Parker from three land. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to senior high. They'll kick it out. They're on the run now. This is Brandon Moore. Go ahead. I was just say fast-paced action just going right. to continue. Back and forth. And we've seen as Moore's finally able to get one go in there. But you can tell both of these teams, they're, they're crashing the boards. They're giving themselves opportunities. Right now, Lima Senior just getting a better end. Obviously, with the depth of Lima Senior, Nate, this has got to favor the, the pace they want right now. Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, this is not a pace that LCC can sustain for the entire game. And I think they kind of have to weather this storm, try to keep this one close, and then got to pick your moments and try to be able to slow things down a little bit, try to get longer possessions, because they keep playing like this. As you see, LCC doesn't go to their bench very often, only sure. one or two guys coming in and out. Jacob Locke is in the game for LCC, and Willie Foster checks back in the game. So you're not going to see a, a lot of breaks for these guys. So, that, you know, I, I don't think that this pace is something that LCC can expect to be able sure. to do for four quarters. Ball comes out to Cutlip. Cutlip will get it back to Foster. Good matchup here. Isaiah Wilson, the sophomore, guarding Foster out top. There's Jagger Hutchins comes out to double team. Ball goes in the middle from three, though. Goes up. Shots missed. Brought back down. Another missed attempt. And LCC can't buy a bucket right now. And those are baskets that LCC just cannot afford to keep missing. They've had a, uh, at least three or four opportunities right at the rim here in this first quarter and haven't been able to cash in on any of them. Amari Addy, the freshman, kind of got lost up in the middle of the floor, tries to go to the rim, and about three T-Birds grabbing everything, and the ball goes out of bounds. We go back to the line Central Catholic. Amari Addy is a very impressive freshman, you know, to start varsity for this team. Oh, play absolutely. At the level plays. He's a very talented kid, but at the end of the day, you know, there are going to be times that freshmen are going to be freshmen. And I think you saw one of those right there. He just yeah. kind of got hung up trying to do a little bit too much. Willie Foster tries to go up for the rebound, and Isaiah Wilson says, I'm not going to have that in my gym right now. Blocks the shot, and it'll go back to Lima Central Catholic. So the bird's down 14 to 8, 145 to go on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. Push it down low, a little right-handed turnaround there. Ball's blocked again. That's three blocks out of the last four shots for senior high. Nice cut back door by number 44, Jacob Locke. Knocks in the jumper to make it 14 to 10 on the Lee's scoreboard. It was just great court vision that time by Carson Parker as he went into some defense, just made sure he kept his head up, found his teammate 
Locke cutting to the basket for two. The line of Central Catholic going to a big 2-3 zone, trying to keep that middle closed. Jagger Hutchins took the three, and it's blocked by Foster. And I, that's, that's one of the things that Jagger Hutchins has really worked on. Is he, he, is a, a, he can be a deadly three-point shooter when he's given he's opportunity. He's a sniper, absolutely. He, he has a great shot from out there. He works on it, but there are times where that shot can take a little bit longer to get going. It, he's not as quick to get it off, and when that happens, you give the, uh, your defense time to rotate, as Foster did there, and is able to get a hand on it. Ball comes over to Glenn. Glenn swings it around. Lima Senior using a patient offense right now against that big zone. 59 seconds to go. Dribble drive on the baseline. Kick it back out to Wilson. Wilson sizes it up. Skip pass across the floor. Three ball on the way from the right side, and it's good. Isaiah Wilson knocks in the triple to make it 17-10 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Patient offense there, Lane. Just really good ball movement, and they get the open look. Yeah, you know, that's one of those ones that can be deflating if you're LCC. You, you get what you want as far as you're getting them to slow things down. They're not able to cut to the basket. And then w when you think you're playing great defense and you're holding them, all of a sudden that deep three-pointer goes down. And a nice dribble drive by Carson Parker. The big man goes to the middle, knocks in the deuce, and makes it 17-12. to 12. Three ball on the way, and it's good. Uh, Marion Glenn with the second triple in a row to give the Spartans the 2012 lead. You know, that offense has not been very consistent for Lima Senior and at times has struggled, but not so far tonight as they are feeling it. Here comes Parker again with a similar dribble drive, kicks it inside. Little jumper, a little bunny on the right side, missed. Here come the senior high Spartans down the floor. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Three in a row, Nate, three in a row. And that was Isaiah Wilson, and we got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the booth. Oh, that's the end of the first quarter, excuse me. After one quarter, the Spartans lead 23 to 12. You're watching High School Sports on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School, where after one quarter, the Spartans lead the T-Birds from Lima Central Catholic 23 to 12. And right now, Nate, Lima Senior's hitting everything. That basket looks huge. Yeah, they're feeling, especially from behind the arc, three three-pointers there in the quarter. They've had five different guys score uh, all there in that first quarter, and they've spread it around. They've done it on the inside. They've done it from behind the arc. And if you're LCC, you just gotta kind of be wondering, what do we got to do? Yeah, you almost feel, Nate, like, if LCC would settle down, they're getting good looks. They're getting shots at the rim. You saw that last sequence. They missed three of four from the rim, right? You know, right in the paint. So you feel like if they can settle down, they can get back in this game. Yeah, I mean, they found space and they've been able to, to utilize that and take advantage of it at times. It just haven't been able to finish at the rim. LCC comes in averaging 59 a game. Defensively is where they've struggled a lot this year, giving up 60 a game. I think we're already starting to see signs of some fatigue from LCC, though, in that last possession after that miss down low. And you took a look at um, them getting down in transition as the quarter was coming to an end. You saw two T-Birds that were just trailing. You know, they didn't have that sprint in their legs. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's just what this offense from Lima Senior does. It's going to wear you out. Um, and then towards the end of the game, it doesn't just do it to you physically. It does it to you mentally as well. The foul is on number five, Isaiah Wilson. That's his first team second for Lima Senior. And this is Foster with the ball up top. As he gets a screen from Parker, and they double team on the wing, and they've got him out of the half court looking for anybody. He throws it into the middle, and we're going to held ball. Tried to find Parker Judy on the block, and Parker Judy was tied up by the Spartans, and they're going to call a foul. I'm going to say the foul is on number four, Amarion Glenn. The senior guard, that's his first of the night. LC Seal inbounds underneath their basket. Push the ball into Parker. Parker with a strong move. He is so strong, Nate. He is really a bull underneath the basket. And Carson Parker is just such an athlete in pretty much everything he does. Another three ball by Brandon Moore. And Nate, that's four consecutive trips of three balls. Yeah, Lima Senior right now from behind that arc. LCC is going to have to try to run them off. You can't give them any space as they are feeling it right now. And Brandon Moore's got to be careful. A little extra celebration after that three-point shot and a little bit there on, on, on that one right there. Saw the official looking at him. You know. Last thing you want to do with a, in a game like this is, is get yourself teed up. Matthew Quabin went for the layup and went into the wall, hit his head on the wall, 
And it uh, looked a little wobbly there as he got up. Let's hope he's okay. And he's going to shoot those free throws. And he misses the first one. And uh, I think... I think Coach Simpson's asking for a timeout after this. We'll have to wait and see. He had motioned to it. Maybe he's talking to the official about it. Second one on the way. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down the board. Burke brings it up, and he's blocked. Blocked by Mosley. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Lima Sr. Burke did a nice job getting his hand in that one to knock it away from Hutchins. As they weren't going to get the possession back, but at least gave their defense time to get down and get set. Web Insurance Agency is our free throw sponsor tonight, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Web Insurance, our free throw sponsor. This is Hutchins again down low as he tries to make a move. Little baby hook goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Mosley, taken away by Parker. Parker might have got away with a little bit on that <laughs> left hand there. <laughs> Saw that three ball on the way from the right side, off the mark, and it'll go back to Lima Senior. I think Quatman right now just a little bit off. Saw both of his free throws right. miss and tried to launch that long three-pointer and missed everything. I think you are absolutely right. So 6.44 to go. Senior high leads 26-14. Danny Hobart and Nate Garlock from Lima Senior High School in the Lima Cup. Rivalry at its finest. This is Wilson with the ball up top. Kicks it back out to Moore. Moore will set it back up. He's got Hutchins to his left, or to his right, excuse me. Back over to Hutchins. Hutchins dribble drive. Wilson thought about the three. Now he kicks it back out. This is Moore. Takes it in. Inside to Mosley. And he knocks it in. And he doubles up on the scoreboard to make it 28-14 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Moore did a great job driving right there. Froze Burke in his tracks. So, uh, as Burke had to come over, it left Mosley wide open and Mosley able to finish. Carson Parker from way downtown. Rebound comes down to Moore. Moore's bringing it down the middle of the floor. Kicks it back out to Hutchins. Hutchins three ball from the right side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Burke. Wow, they missed a three, partner. That's uh, unusual for tonight. So I, I, I think uh, at this point, Coach Gill has seen enough. Want us to try <laughs> to give his team a little bit of a break here and talk about it. We'll take a timeout with 5.50 to go here. Lima Senior leads 28-14. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School, where with 5.50 to go in the second quarter, the Spartans lead 28 to 14. And Nate, what does Lima Central Catholic have to do? I mean, they got to close out and they've got to get out on defense on the three line, but my goodness, Lima Senior's hitting everything. Yeah, I think that's where it's going to have to start for right now because they're going to have to get some stops on defense. They're going to have to find a way to get Lima Senior out of rhythm. And then once they do that, you know, we've seen them have opportunities on the offensive end. It's just executing and finishing. So Lima Central Catholic will bring the ball down. Amari Addy is out on top of Willie Foster. The two freshmen battling tonight. This will be a good battle for four years, Coach. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it will. You know, these are, and they know each other. And, you know, again, that's one of those things where they're very familiar with one another. And it's not just a game. It's a point of pride when they go against one another. Absolutely. This is Hutchins with the ball. Thought about going and trying to do the dribble drive there. He'll kick it back out to Amari Addy. LCC is going to stay in that big zone. So far, it hasn't really worked as Lima Senior's been able to get their shots off. They're going to have to close some gaps. Can't give them space like that. And three ball from the top of the key off the mark. Rebound comes down to Hutchins. Kicks it back out to Cotton. Cotton will swing it back around to Amari Addy, and that's where he'll set the offense up. Five minutes to go. Senior high up 28-14 on the least famous recipe scoreboard. Three ball from the right side up in the air. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Spartans, and they'll get another chance. And right now, LCC just getting caught watching. They're watching the ball. They're watching the shot. They're not marking out, and they're not closing out. So it's giving Lima Senior good looks. And when they don't make it, uh, it's been uh, quite a while since I think we've seen Lima Senior come down and be one and done. And, and I'm really impressed with Lima Senior and their patience on their offensive sets. And we've got a foul down on the floor. They tried to push the ball down to Brandon Moore. He got caught up in the foul. And I think they got Bork, Burke on that foul. Excuse me. Uh, we'll have to see. No, they're going to say that that foul was on Payne Cutlip. Lima Senior will take it out underneath their basket. This is Moore with the ball. Guarded by Parker. Out to Hutchins. Back to Moore. Three ball from the top of the key. <laughs> Off the mark. Rebound comes down. Burke corrals it for the birds. They'll get it out to Foster on the right side. Foster takes it straight up. Good, strong move. And they're going to say he charged. And a good call because Brandon Moore had great position. 
and Foster went right into him. Yeah, the, the Brandon Moore did a tremendous job getting back, getting his feet set. He knew that Foster wasn't going to pull up, so he was ready for it. Another turnover for LCC. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Trying to get all our sponsors in, Coach, but uh, we're such a fast-paced game here that uh, getting me tongue-tied. Brandon Moore will swing it over. This is Cotton from the top of the key. Off balance, ball comes down. Birds will corral it. They'll bring it down the left side. And I think this is what LCC is going to take advantage of. Lima Senior right now, they were so hot from three-point line. You can see that they still want to take those shots. They still have space. And as they're shooting those three-pointers and missing them, LCC has got to come down, and they've got to come away with points. It has been a while since they've been able to score. And Burns tried to push it into Burke, and the ball got away. And Amari Addy grabbed it, but he stepped out of bounds. It'll go back to Lima Central Catholic. More wholesale changes for the Spartans. Number four, Amarian Glenn comes in. Also into the game, JV on Walton. And number five, Isaiah Wilson. So Lima Senior using that bench to their strength right now. Foster will take a seat for LCC. They'll get it into Carson Parker. He gets it at the high post. Three ball from the left side on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. Birds corral it. Nice job by Payne Cutlip to go up high and get that rebound. And he's going to be fouled. And Cullip did a great job of getting in position that time, making sure the defender was on his back, so he was in position to go up for that rebound. And the only choice his defender had was to go through him, which he did. I'll go back to Billy Burke on the inbounds. And tried to go to Carson Parker, stole away by Brandon Moore, and he'll take it down the left side. Got caught up. Looked like he traveled, but they didn't call it. He scoops it in and scores to make a 30-14 on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. Brandon Moore a little hobbly after that one. Looked like his foot might have got stuck, rolled his ankle a That's little bit. That's exactly what it looked like to me. You're right. So I, it somehow still managed to get it in there, but he's trying to gut this one out as he comes up top to guard Cutlip. Brandon Moore's got nine on the night to lead all scores. This is Parker. Parker got tripped up there, and there's a steal by Marion Glenn. He'll take it up the right side, and he knocks it in. Marion Glenn scooping a score, and he makes it 32 14 on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. And right now, Lima Senior just can't seem to do no wrong. LCC doesn't have much of an answer for this pressure. Lima uh, Senior, this is what had what. Uh, they had success in Saturday against Ottawa Glendorf. It wasn't always that full court pressure. They waited until the ball crossed half court and then they would jump it. And you would see the double teams coming quickly and that forced a lot of turnovers. And they're doing that in, in spots here tonight that seems to be working every time they try. And you really see a difference when Foster's not in the game with the ball handling from LCC as he is clearly the floor leader. And a nice little jumper there by Parker Judy. Very impressive shot there as he goes to the middle, knocks it in for two. Three ball on the way for the Spartans. It goes off the mark. Comes down to Parker. It's been a long scoreless streak for LCC and that was finally ended on that last possession. Now you get J.B. Allen Walton. He's going to get whistled for the foul. It's LCC right now has just got to try to chip away a little bit here. 2.30 left to go in the half. Don't have to get everything back sure. right here, but they've got to try to get this into a manageable um, score heading into the locker room. If you're a, if you're a T-Bird fan, you want to hope to get it down to 10 or less before halftime. I, I guess you'd settle for 12 right now at this point, but uh, let's see what the birds can do. This is Parker with the ball, swings it around. Lock, gets it over to Foster. Foster on the left side. Looked like he was going to throw it to Quadman, but he'll go left hand. Takes it up right-handed. Rolls off the rim. Rebound comes down to the Spartans. They'll bring it down the floor. Nice dribble drive and a kick out for a three from the right side. Off the mark. Javion Walton with the missed three. Rebound comes down. Little jumper goes up. Foster with the rebound. Looks like he got tripped up. And they're going to say he traveled. And that's exactly what the call is. Yeah, that not really much that Foster could do right there. Is not sure if he stepped on someone's foot or someone stepped on him or, or what happened. But once he hit the court, rolled over and... There really was no point in trying to get back up at that point. We'll have our halftime adjustments at halftime before the start of the third quarter, and our halftime sponsor will be Lauk Chiropractic and Weight Loss. So stick around for that. And at the end of the game, we'll have a Stolly Insurance Stolly Hustle Award winner. So always a fan favorite here. Danny Holbrook, Nate Garlock from Lima Senior High School broadcasting the Lima Cup. Lima Senior in full control right now at 32-16.
taking their time, patient offense as LCC's back to their man. Nice slip pass into the middle there. <laughs> and Javion Walton gets behind the defense and he caught the birds napping. Yeah, right now, Lima Senior just not in great position as they're letting uh, uh, Lima Senior get themselves in the spot where they have free runs at the basket. Foul on the floor. I'll call that on Jaquel Cotton. That's his second. Jaquel's got four on the evening. I'm, I'm really impressed, Nate, with Brandon Moore and his athletic ability. And he's getting to the rim. He's knocking down jumpers defensively. He's holding his own. And he's a very impressive looking young man, the 6'3 senior. Yeah, he's, he's playing very well tonight. He's one of the leaders on this team that they need him to go. And, and when he goes, this offense seems to just kind of click on a different level. Second shot will go up. Spartans lead 34-17, and second one's good. Makes it 34-18 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Jacob Locke will take a seat, and they'll bring back Billy Burke into the lineup. 1.23 to go. Amari Addy will bring it down, set it up. He'll get the ball back on the left side, guarded by Foster. He's going to take a three from the left side, and it's good. Amari Addy cools the other side of the pillow, knocks down the triple to make it 37-18. And you cannot give Amari Addy that much space. He's able to step right into that shot without any contestion whatsoever. This is Foster guarded by Addy, and Addy gets a steal, but it goes to Burke. Burke corrals it. Goes up in the middle, turns around left-handed, gets stolen away by Jaquel Cotton. They'll get it out in transition. And a nice finish by Isaiah Wilson. As Isaiah Wilson, the sophomore guard, knocks it in to make it 39-18 as we go into the end of the second quarter. And it was a great recognition by Marion Glenn as he was coming down. Foster was setting up to take that charge. And at the last second, he drops it off to Wilson and finishes. There's another steal. <laughs> Jaquel Cotton tried to go up on the right side and swatted away. And they're saying it goes back to LCC. I, I thought that was going to go to Lima Senior, but they're giving it to LCC. Yeah, I, I just think actually that uh, he just kind of lost the handle I think, on I, it. I, think you're right. I don't think he was ready for the pass from Addy as he gathered it in and was trying for the unselfish play that time. I just don't think he was ready to get it. Carson Parker will bring it down for the Birds. 19 seconds to go. He's guarded out top by Javion Walton. Parker goes to the middle, tries to take it in. Shot goes up, and it falls for Carson Parker to make it 39-20. Parker's got six on the night. Jager Hutchins from the top of the key, off the mark. Rebound comes down, put back, no good. And that's how the first half will end. After two quarters, the Lima Senior Spartans lead the LCC Thunderbirds 39 to 20. We come back, we'll have halftime adjustments and the start of the third quarter. Welcome back to Lima Senior. The Lima Senior Spartans lead the LCC Thunderbirds 39 to 20. Our halftime adjustments are brought to you by Lout Chiropractic and Weight Loss provides our halftime adjustments. Lout Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. Let's take a look first, Nate, at the LCC Thunderbirds. Right now, it just seems like they can't get a stop defensively. They're getting good looks at the bucket, but defensively, they're really struggling. Yeah, right now, Lima Senior is pretty much dictating everything that they want to do on offense, and LCC just doesn't quite have that answer. We've seen some, uh, right now, I think it's a rotational problem. They're not coming in to help. Uh, two guys are jumping a little bit too fast. They're biting on every head fake, every ball fake, and it's a good point. It, it, they're not staying home. And when they do that, they're vacating a wide open look on the floor. And Lima Senior, they move so well without the basketball. They fill that quickly, the extra pass, and they're getting the easy shots. And then when they're not, especially in that first quarter, it really opened things up. You know, we, we know how well they can shoot from behind the arc. And so far tonight, they've done a really nice job. We look at Lima Senior, and they come in this year averaging 58 a game. And right now, they're at 39. If you tell me there's an adjustment that needs done, I'm going to say, what game are you watching? But obviously, we know Coach Simpson demands more. What do you think the Spartans need to do to increase this lead? Yeah, I think at this point right now, the only thing that they have to do is, is just be careful not to get overconfident. 
you know, you have a big lead, the last thing you want to do is just start putting up a bunch of low percentage shots or, or contested shots because you have this lead and you just want to shoot. And you know, you kind of let this get away from you. And you do that, you start missing shots, you look up and all of a sudden the lead is shrunk and now you have to change what you're doing. So right now, I keep doing everything that they're doing. They're, they're playing great. You know, the, the speed of the game is exactly what they want it to be. Brandon Moore has been phenomenal on the offensive Absolutely. and defensive end. Uh, Anthony Mosley has gotten going. They've gotten contributions from uh, all sorts of guys. Um, they've had seven different people in the scoring column tonight. So it's coming from all aspects. They're doing it on the inside, on the outside. I don't know how much better of a game uh, Coach Simpson could ask for them to play right now. I think really about the only thing that's been negative is, you know, they had seven fouls there in that first half. You know, clean up the fouls a little bit. But, you know, he lives with those. When you play the aggressive defense and you ask your team to play a great point. like they do, you know that fouls are just going to be a part of it, and, and you learn, you live with that. And that's why he plays 10, 12 kids. Exactly. Absolutely. And those are our loud chiropractic halftime adjustments. When we come back, we'll have the second half right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior High School. We're at halftime. The Lima Senior Spartans lead the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds 39 to 20. Nate, I want to ask you a question here. The Lima Senior up 39 to 20. We all know they have five games in the next 10 days. What's Coach Simpson's feeling about putting this thing to bed early and getting those guys some rest? Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think. I, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think yeah, I think you're um, right. You know, and you know, Coach Simpson. It, it, Coach Simpson is a smart coach. He built his schedule the way that he does, very <laughs> intentionally. Like, you know, when you're into July at this point, you're kind of that midpoint range. Um, you know, as we move, we, everybody's looking now towards the end of this month, sure. into February. Yeah. And then you start talking about tournament draws, and then you have this tournament run itself. You know, it's times like this. He wants to start challenging his his team. He wants to see, and he wants, I think more importantly, he wants them to see um, what kind of team they are right now so they know where they need to go, what they need to improve on. And, and you know, and if you're LCC, you know, this is frustrating, um, but I don't know that you know, obviously they're not going to quit and sure, they're going to continue to play. There's still a lot of basketball well, left. And this is a team, this is a, I, I think at times that this is a team that gets overlooked for their athletic ability. You know, when you look at who's on the floor, we know what they can do on the football field. These guys, they know how to compete and they know how to play. So, you know, they're going to give Lima Senior all they can handle here in the second well, half. Well, we look at Lima Central Catholic, and they've got some good wins this year over Delphi St. John's, Allen East. They've dropped four of the last six. They started out three and two, but a little bit of that is because of the late start in football. And you're right. The athleticism is there. Nice little dribble drive. They get it down low, and Anthony Mosley continues his scoring prowess. He's got eight on the nine. He makes it 41-20 on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. And, right, and they're, the Lima Senior's picking up right where they left off. And right now, they are just beating LCC to the spot. They, they, they are getting there faster. They're getting better position. As you saw Burke on that defensive end last time, just trailing Mosley the whole way in there because Mosley is just getting himself in better position. Here's Hutchins from three, land on the left side, off the mark. He struggled a bit tonight with his shooting. Balls ran down. The senior high corrals it, and Brandon Moore catches up with it. He'll bring it down. They'll set it up. Ball goes out of bounds, and it goes off of Carson Parker. And the only reason that wasn't a backcourt violation I was just getting ready to say. is because when Moore was in the air, as he tried to do something with it, Billy Burke just ended up in the wrong position. It goes down his back, which means he touched it, which means it takes the backcourt violation away. Hutchins. So LCC right now just cannot catch a break. Yeah, Hutchins blocked on that shot by Carson Parker. See, you do know the game. That's why I call you coach. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> They'll kick it back out. This is Amari Addy, the fine freshman point guard, guarded by Foster. Two freshmen out there playing in their first Lima Cup and lots of years ahead of them to battle it out for supremacy in Lima. A little fall fadeaway there, but they're going to say that Addy traveled. Yeah, Mario that time just one too many steps, trying to reverse change direction maybe one too many times. Got himself tripped up. So LCC, this is what they're going to need. They're going to need some um, empty possessions from Lima Senior like that, but they've got to take advantage. They've got to find ways to put points on the board. There's a dribble drive by Foster on the left side. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. Goes out of bounds, and they're going to say it's going to go back to Lima Senior. Lima Senior played yesterday. We haven't talked about that. They played in the flying of the Hoog Classic down at Kettering Fairborn. Uh, they won the game over Springboro 64-29. So back-to-back -back games, almost like a Friday-Saturday doubleheader. 
And that was after they had a Friday, Saturday right, double right, this weekend. Right. So they've had one day off in the last five days, but you wouldn't know it from watching them tonight. No, they are on fire. <laughs> and Jaquel Cotton with a smooth, silky stroke from the top of the key, and he makes it 44-20 on the least famous recipe scoreboard. You see Willie Foster handling it right now. Last time down there, he tried to have that a uh, little bit of that teardrop shot, and he's just seemed a little bit off tonight, a little rushed. You know, his first Lima Cup, his first chance to be out here playing in this game, and I think we're seeing a little of those nerves. Oh, another Jaquel Cotton three, and he is on fire right now. He's got 10 to lead all the Spartans, and they take the 47-20 lead. He, he's really smooth with that jumper. He is, and, you know, he's had a quiet 10 points, if you can say that. You know, he kind of went, went scoreless there in the second quarter, but he has come right out tonight, and we've seen two big three-pointers here in this third quarter. You know, like we were talking about earlier, he led the scoring on Saturday against Ottawa Glandorf, so he has the points, and I think that's also one of the things that makes Lima Senior such a dangerous team. You know, they haven't always been predictable this year. They haven't been as consistent as Coach Simpson would like, but on any given night, any one of the players sure. he puts out there can take the game over. Well, you look at Hutchins, and he's obviously struggled tonight. He has no points on the board. They're staying with him and getting valuable minutes out of him, and he still continues to play good defense. Try to push the ball down low. <laughs> Taken up, and again, another missed opportunity for LCC as they miss back-to-back -back shots from the post position, and they just can't buy a bucket right now. Coach Kill kind of wondering how they didn't get the ball back. Three opportunities there for LCC, couldn't put it in, and when it's all said and done, it's going back Lima Senior's way. So right now, LCC still just trying to find some answers, trying to do anything they can to try to put a clamp on this Lima Senior offense. Nice backdoor cut by Moore, but the ball's taken away by Quatman. He'll run down the left side. Little jumper from the top of the key. Misses off the mark. Rebound comes down, goes out of bounds, and go back to LCC. So Moore jump in there trying to get it off of Quatman before it went out of bounds, but the officials say that Moore touched it last. Quatman will trigger the ball in, goes into Payne Cutlip. Cutlip is guarded out top by Addy. Swing it over to Quatman. Brandon Moore guards him. They'll switch off, and Anthony Mosley will take him back to Moore. So Lima Sr. continues that straight-up man-to-man defense, and they're really getting it after Carson Parker with a nice little left-handed scoop shot. It goes off the mark, but he'll go to the line for two. Carson Parker, we talked about the size and strength of him, just trying to put that to work as he went into the lane. Moved a couple defenders as he was able to spin around and at least has an opportunity here at the free throw line. All right, Nate, let's get your thoughts. 47-21 game here. Your all-time best player in this rivalry. Who do you think? Oh. I mean, there's been some great ones. You're just trying to set me up. <laughs> right. you, you want all sorts of letters coming to the station, do. don't you? Uh, Ben's going to have to deal with criticism. <laughs> he's, not, right. he's not going to be happy about <laughs> we, that. We, we could so, name. <laughs> you know, there, I, don't, I think that it's impossible sure, to try sure, to say. Absolutely. But I, what I will tell you is in my mind, you know, obviously in my 38 years on this planet and rem remembering basketball oh, yeah, and remembering yeah. everything, you know, I, you know, and I'm sure there was other performances and other games sure, that sure. were more memorable, but how do you ever take away the moment of Xavier Simpson oh. hitting the game winner at LCC when they both were ranked number one in the state in their respective divisions? I mean, an atmosphere like I have never seen or felt since. It doesn't, <laughs> in no state championship game, nothing has compared to being in that gym on that night with what, how those two teams were built. That year, Lima Senior goes and finishes a state runner-up. LCC is a state champion. But the talent that was on that floor, the way amazing. that that game ended, <laughs> and then, you know, for Xavier Simpson to finish that game, I think that that's got to be – that's got to be the all-time game maybe, played yes. in this rivalry. I think you're right. And you know you can go to YouTube and watch that last second shot because I've done it a million times. Absolutely. The call from WSN is fantastic. Amarion Glenn with the scoop shot there, and he makes it 49-21. Yeah, and you talk about great ones in this, you know, for both squads and, and the Greg Simpsons and the Hutchins brothers and, and Xavier Simpson and – uh, just on and on and on. And, and you, you look at even Division One football players, Richard Glover from Lima Senior, and a lot of great names over the years who have been in this rivalry. And another three ball by Senior High, and they just keep pouring it on up 52-23 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. That makes three three-pointers here in this quarter for Cotton. As it's been a long time since we've seen 
Well, I mean, and the running clock is relatively sure. new here, but I, you know, I think it'd be a long time. It, we'd have to go back a little ways in the archives. And actually, thanks to Tim Ludwig, we have the score. Yes, yeah, so I was going to take a look here and see I, the last time we saw the spread this I, different. I had a great uh, 30, 40 minute conversation with Tim Ludwig before the game. Uh, Tim's a great ambassador for Lima Senior, great fan. Uh, and, and we went over a lot of this rivalry. <laughs> so he's got the he's got the encyclopedia of knowledge over here. He, he has all these. And there's a couple back in the '60s. You know, they had a uh, uh, a big a big win back there, back that. But I mean, you know, when you look through these, these games are all close. You do not have typical games right. yes. that, that look like this, regardless. The biggest margin of victory in this rivalry, thanks to Tim Lugwood, is on here. 38 points. Yeah. And that's by Lima Senior back in 1966. Wow. So thanks to Tim Ludwig and all his knowledge of Lima Senior basketball. And he, he, he was here early, I'm telling you. He is, uh, he, he told me he, he, this is his game. This is the one he waits for all year. Yep. So, uh, yeah, and unfortunately for uh, LCC, I think we we're, <laughs> we're kind of on yeah. that watch right now to see if uh, Lima Senior can break that record tonight. Yeah. And a little stoppage right now. I think there's a little confusion there at the scorer's table for the substitution. Well, as I said earlier, Lima Senior comes in averaging almost 59 a game, and right now they're at 52 with 3.07 to go in the third quarter. Defensively, they give up 53 a game, and right now LCC at 25, and no, no danger of getting there for right now. See, they're still playing hard, though, still playing Absolutely. good defense. Carson Parker goes up, and the shot's blocked, and they're going to say it's a foul. Looks like the foul comes down to... It's going to be Wilson, I believe. Yeah, I believe. No. Marion Glenn. Glenn. Yeah. That's his second. It's team fourth. Carson Parker goes to the line. The junior. He's got nine on the night. And call it ten. He's in double figures. He leads the birds in scoring. He is so strong and so competitive and, and, and just a great athlete. And, uh, you know, you know he's not going to quit tonight. No, absolutely not. You know, Division One prospect on, in, in football. Uh, a great baseball player as sure. well. Just a competitive, great kid. And, you know, you have those kind of athletes on both sides of this rivalry. And, you know, you see, you see, a, you saw the big pull of the jersey that time as they were trying to keep Wilson from <laughs> getting to the rim, but nothing was stopping him on that one. And, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, the stats tonight are going to be staggering because the shooting percentage from Lyman Senior right now is just through the roof. And we've not seen a, a performance like this in some time. And, and <laughs> And, it, and you know what is amazing? Like you said, four of the last five nights they played. They don't look tired at all. They, they look like they haven't played for a week. They, they don't. <laughs> and, I, you know, I, I really do think that that Ottawa Glandorf game, as you see uh, Ethan Frankhauser. Ethan Frankhauser, nice job by Ethan Frankhauser with a little jumper there. But I, I really do think that that Ottawa Glandorf game on Saturday night was a catalyst for this team. You know, they, they've had some rough spots. They, they've struggled. Um, the offense was a, a little off. And then they come Friday night. They have the big rivalry against Finley, which everybody knows how uh, sure. how those two teams feel about each other. Hutchins with the rebound, and everybody's going for the ball. Yeah, yeah. I think you're absolutely right, Nate. I, and I'll say this. The, the fact that they beat OG, and OG a perennial state power, Colin White a legitimate candidate for Mr. Basketball, and, and a, an impeccable record, a huge crowd in here that night. And I said it at the time, that may catapult this team into some really nice wins. Yeah, and I, and I think that that's what, what happens because I think a lot of people thought um, after that on, game on Friday night that sure. there, there's a real good chance they could be coming into this game tonight 0-3 on this trip, you know, depending on where how they were you know, mentally going into the Springboro game, um, another quality program. You know, and it could really be a tough spot for this team. But they go in, they, they knock off Ottawa Glandorf, who is tremendously talented. You know, and Lima Senior really, for the most part, controlled the, the vast majority of that game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and, you know, and I think that really set things off. We saw that they went and they handled Springboro right from the very beginning. And then they have come out here tonight. And just <laughs> like you're seeing right there with that shot, they just – they are playing with a different level of confidence that they weren't playing with a week ago. Absolutely. And I've got to check. Sincere Horse and Chereau. I was going to say, I, I got to make sure I've got him on my roster here. I've got him at number 21. He's in the number 32 jersey. We'll change that. So Sincere Chereau's horse with the trip. 
So everybody on the scoring column tonight, Lima Senior led and fly, and everything's knocking down the bottom of the net. They lead 57-29 with 1.16 to go in the third quarter. See another turnover there by uh, LCC. Coach Kill is bringing in some off the bench, getting some other guys in here. A lot of respect between these two coaches, Nate, Coach Simpson and Coach Kill, and they've been through the wars, and you know they know a lot of the same players, and just you can just see a lot of mutual respect. There's Hutchins from the left side, and he knocks it in. Finally, gets off the zero in the scoring column. Jagger Hutchins knocks down the triple to make it 60-29 on Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. Yeah, you know, shooter shoot, and that's what Jagger Hutchins is. He yeah. is a shooter, and it doesn't matter whether they're falling or not. He's going to keep going. He's going to try to make those adjustments until they fall. And you saw right there, even though it had been a rough night for him shooting wise, he, he keeps going. He has that confidence, and he's able to knock that one down. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lyman Allen County for more than 100 years with Opposite and Down on Lyman Bluffton. Webb Insurance is our free throw sponsor. This is Payne Cutlip. Knocks in the free throw, the senior guard. He's got one on the afternoon. Makes it 60 to 30 with 49 seconds to go in the third quarter. Entering the game now for the T-Birds is Sal Guaginti. The senior, going to get some time here in this Lima Cup. Cutler buys the second one and knocks it down. He's got a pair. Makes it 60-31 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. There's Hutchins at the top of the key, went to the foul line. Billy Bork d it up on him. They'll swing it back around. Three ball on the way from the left corner. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. Bork corrals it for the birds. Number 15, Javion Walton tries to go up with it. Here's Foster from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Walton. He kicks it out. Three ball from the left side. Oh, and it just sticks right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> sincere Sherelle's horse and tries the three, and it goes right into the middle there and just sticks. We'll go back to LCC. A little bit of a heat check that time. Yeah. <laughs> sincere <laughs> sincere said, give me the ball. Yeah, he, he had an open lane there, but he decided he wanted to try to see if he could yeah. knock down one of those threes. And it's all right. Go get yours, young man. <laughs> Foster with a little jumper he misses at. Ball goes out to the middle, and that's how the third quarter will end. After three quarters from Lima Senior, the Spartans lead the T-Birds 60-31 to right here on WOSN. We're back here at Lima Senior. <laughs> Sorry, had a little confusion with our uh, numbers there with some of the players, so we're back here. 7.45 to go, senior high leads 60 to 31. Danny Holbrook, Nate Garlock from Lima Senior High School, the Lima Cup. Annual battle between the Birds and the Spartans. This one's all Spartans all night. Yeah, and I think if you're LCC going into this, you know, a lot of times you get into these games and at a certain point you kind of wave the white flag like, you know what, it wasn't our night. But there's still things you can work on. It's sure. almost, you know, let's let's win the quarter. Let, let's find something that we can build on, that we can get that confidence up. Because, you know, still a lot of games for both of these teams to play. So if you're LCC right now, it's about let's win this quarter. Let's get some things going the right way. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Stick around after the game as we'll have a Stolly Hustle Award. Nate Garlack and I will select one player to receive the award of the Stolly Hustle Award, sponsored by Stolly Insurance. See Kalik Walsh down low trying to fight for that loose ball. I believe they ended up calling a jump ball. Now they're going to actually call a foul on Matthew Quatman on that one. Nice dribble drive to the right side. Blocked by the Birds. They'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Here comes Payne Cutlip. Kicks it over to Quatman, back to Cutlip. Looks inside to Burke. And Burke's going to be fouled by number 15. That's Javion Walton. Walton just got a little too aggressive trying to work through the body to poke that one away. He's going to end up picking up his third foul. Coach Kill having a little animated conversation with the official over there. See a little bit of frustration on his face. And 
So just like in the first half, Lima Senior now with seven team fouls. So LCC this entire fourth quarter will be shooting free throws. Burke will go to the line, knocks down the first one. He's got three on the evening. Makes it 60-32 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. LCC won their last game 56-46 with a win over Elida. So came in with a little bit of a momentum and uh, just haven't played up to par tonight. I'm sure Coach Kill will get them back on track. A lot of season left. Six fifty to go. Lima Senior leads 60-33. Danny Horton, Nate Garlock from Lima Senior High School. This is Hutchins from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. Senior high. Let's reset it and bring it back out. Three ball from the right side, and it's good. Sincere Sherelle Torreson knocks in the triple. There are step back three pointers, and then there are those. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> There's a little pass inside. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Walton. Walton clears it out to Sherelle Torreson. Looked to take the dribble drive, but he got cut off there. He'll go back to Walton. Walton from the right side goes to the middle of the lane, kicks it back out. Three ball on the way from the left side. That's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Cutlip. He'll go down the middle of the floor, pushes it inside. Ball goes off number 42, Ethan Frankenhauser. Kalik Walsh is actually going to get called for the foul there. He tried to get out of the way at the last minute, but a little bit of contact. Frankhauser is going to go to the free throw line. So Ethan Frankhauser, the senior, he'll go to the line. He's got two points on the night. He'll try to add to that total with 5.55 to go. Season 18 of the Sports Report continues Friday night. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive basketball coverage around all season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. I got to be on the Sports Report a few times. It's a lot of fun. You know, it's been a while, though, since Patrick asked me back. I'm, I must have upset him. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been on his show in a while. You're on my show Saturday. You're everywhere. You're fam you're you're Lima famous. You know what? I'll take it. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> your show was a lot of fun to do. I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Enjoy being on Sports Report. Everybody does. You know, we we're actually really blessed this area. I don't we think are. I don't think people quite appreciate, or, or maybe it's not even that, it's just they don't realize, you know. <laughs> are you I, saying I, nobody listens to my shows? Are you saying <laughs> no, no, I, just well, just the amount of. High school sports oh, and my the goodness, coverage yeah. that Northwest Ohio gets compared to other places that you know of our size. You know, oh, we're yeah. not we're not the Columbus, the Cleveland, you know, but we give probably as much or more coverage than those areas do to their sports. I was uh, that's funny you should say that. Nate. I was at Elida last year for a girls regional basketball game, and I talked to the official before the game as I as I try to do before I broadcast the game, and the the fellas were from Canton Akron area. And they couldn't believe the crowd at a girls high school basketball game. They just couldn't believe it. And it was a big game. It was a district championship, or no, it was a regional championship. And they just were blown away by the crowd. And he said, you know, over there, it's you know, it's not that big a deal. I said, well, here it is. It's a big deal. Here. <laughs> yeah, it's a real big deal. There's a three ball on the left side for the birds that goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Frankhauser as he crowds it in. Little turnaround jumper goes off the mark. And Amarion Glenn will corral it, bring it down the middle of the floor, kick it over to the right side. Three ball on the way, and it's good. Sincere Sherelle Horison is on fire. He's got six on the night, and he makes it 66-33 on the league's famous recipe scoreboard. Nice little left-handed turnaround there. They're going to get a few, ha or a few uh, players in here, so just a quick timeout. Bird's still fighting hard. Got to respect that. Kids out there giving it their all. Yeah, there, you know, there's there's no quit, and especially in a game like this, you know, I they know they're losing, but I don't know. There's a lot of scoreboard watching. It's just about coming out here and playing and still trying to finish this game the right way. Spartans will bring it down. 4:20 to go here from Lima Senior High School. Caden Hampton with the ball up top. Kick it back out. This is Hampton from the three, and it's good. Caden Hampton knocks down the triple, and it's raining threes. There's another triple from the right side. Goes off the mark. 
And those are few and far between, those missed threes, because they've been knocking them down all night. Yeah, it's been, it has been definitely, um, you know, a party from behind the three-point line tonight. Tonight they have three, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 three-pointers That's pointers amazing. On the night. That is absolutely amazing. Hampton thought about pulling the trigger on that one. He was ready to go. Nice little dribble drive. They'll kick it back out. Walsh trying to go baseline. Baseline drive by Walsh, and he just misses it. Kicks it back out. This is out to Walton. Walton thought about taking the three. A deep three from the top of the key. He rims in and out. Rebound comes down. Everybody's going after it. Birds control it. They'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Three ball from the right side for the Birds, and it's good. Nice three ball by Cole Gross from LCC. All right, now everybody hit from behind the three-point line. Deep three from the top of the key. It was off the mark. That was way out there. That was as long as I've seen all night. Steal by Hampton. Hampton brings it down the middle of the floor. Tried to pull up, takes it inside. Nice dribble drive, and he's going to be fouled. Foul's going to go against number 22, Justin Bauman. After that last three-point try from Hampton, the, the hands immediately went to the hips for Coach Simpson. <laughs> you know, even, even in a game that it's a little bit out of reach right now, he's still not happy with you know bad shots and, and bad decision-making. So I think Hampton might have picked up on it that way. That time, instead of trying to shoot the three-pointer, put it on the floor and got himself to the free-throw line. 70 to 38, 2.56 to go here from Lana Senior High School. If you're if you're Frank Kill and you're finished with this game, what's your message to your kids after a tough loss like this? You know, sometimes you just have to move on. That's There's, a great you, point. You just can't you can't dwell on it. You know, everybody knows that it wasn't your night. I'm sure there are things that they're going to be able to point to. Maybe you find a couple of things and say, hey, listen, you know, we didn't execute, we didn't do this, we didn't do that, and that game's over, it's on to the next one now. And, and that's really sometimes all you can do. Hampton with the rebound. Kick it out to the left side, three ball on the way, and it's blocked. <laughs> and Kelly Sherrells Jr. will go to the line shooting three. And if you're Quincy Simpson, Nate, you, you, you got to tell your kids, look, you, you played really well. You shot. You're not going to shoot like this every night, obviously, but you keep the momentum going. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, this is one of those things. And, and again, whether it's this game or whether you look two games behind to the OG game or wherever you want to choose, you know, at a certain point in, in every team season, you can kind of look and say that was the turning point. Exactly. That's and, a great and, point. And, you know, they may have hit that at that point. This stretch, this four games in five days, they have more back-to-back -back coming up this weekend. Um, you know, I, I think when it's all said and done, it's six games in eight days. It's just, it's a trudge. Yeah. But I think you're going to be able to look back at this time for the Spartan team and say, you know what? That's when we got things going the right direction. And I think at the end of the year, they're going to look back on that stretch and wish they had that Finley game again. I really do. Yeah. So here come the Birds trying to cut into this 71-38 lead. And there's a steal out top by Kelly Shirelles. And he knocks it in. Kelly Shirelles Jr. with the deuce. And he makes it 73-38. And this crowd just exploded for that young man. Well, I think also everybody in this gym knows what just happened. And we just hit running clock territory. Yeah, right. <laughs> 2.09 to go. Three ball on the way from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Walton. He'll go down the right side. Tries to go behind the back. The ball gets real caught up by the birds, and they'll bring it back down the floor. I think right now, really, that's all left to be settled is whether or not Lima Senior is going to break, break that 40-plus year streak as far as largest margin of victory. There's Sal Guajeni gets the deuce, makes it 73-40 with 144 to go. Nice dribble drive. The ball is blocked. Kicked back out. Shirelles Jr. again off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Birds, and they'll run the court. <laughs> Back <in body. laughs> Number 22, Justin Bauman. <laughs> right now, everybody's just kind of going back and forth, yeah. both of these teams just kind of like open gym right now. There's a nice little jumper by number 23 for LCC, Christian Marks. Smooth little jumper there. Marks has got two in the night. 73-44 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. And we are at the one-minute mark remaining. Dribble drive there by Sincere Shirelles, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line. There's 
Free throw sponsor tonight is Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Web Insurance is our free throw sponsor. So the clock has stopped. I don't know if they maybe they didn't realize that they hit that 35 point mark because they shouldn't go back down until we're and we did go under 30. So that's yeah. why it did stop. Because yeah. they got it below 30, so it went back to a clock, a stop clock. And there it is at the 31 point mark, 59 seconds to go. Now it <laughs> took a little time to get the clock started there. LCC is going to fall to five and seven on the season. Lima Senior moves to a very respectable eight and four as they continue on their winning streak. And yeah, both these teams very young. And, um, Absolutely. You know, they're, they're, they're still building, kind of working through some things that you're going to work through when you're young teams. And that's the case you know, with LCC as well. Still plenty of time. And, you know, that's one of the nice things about high school basketball in Ohio where, you know, you can have those seasons where, you know, maybe you have that losing record, but you don't have to say, well, if we don't, if we don't put it together now, our season's lost. You're still going to have that opportunity. Everybody's going to go to the tournament. You're going to have a chance to play more games. And, you know, we all know how good of a coach Coach Kill is. Sure. He's going to get these guys ready to go. And, you know, they're not going to have too many nights where the score looks like this. And that'll do it from Lima Senior High School. The Spartans win the Lima Cup 77-44. When we come back, we'll have our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back here at Lima Senior High School where the Spartans finish out the T-Birds 77-44. Check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. And that is who, Nate Garlock? And we talked about it during the break. And you know, I think especially the catalyst that he gave this team in the third quarter really kind of set him apart because they had a lot of great performances tonight. But Jaquel Cotton, three three-pointers in that third quarter where Lima Senior really blew this open. And kind of it's one of those things where you can have a big lead, but can you close it out? Can you kind of, you know, um, run away and hide? And that's exactly what he did. Those were kind of those daggers that just kind of left LCC deflated. Jaquel Cotton comes down, hits some big three-pointers in that third quarter. Had a great game overall as well. So tremendous job from him for winning our Stolly Hustle Award tonight. So congratulations to that young man. And that'll wrap it up from Lima Senior High School where the Spartans are celebrating at midcourt as they win this one 77-44. For Nate Garlock, our entire WSN crew, I'm Danny Holbrook saying we'll see you on the next one.